Breaking news from Jeff Sessions. Huge. Attorney General Jeff Sessions delivers remarks announcing new initiative to combat deadly fentanyl crisis. Remarks as prepared for delivery. Thank you, Scott, for that kind introduction and thank you for your more than 30 years of service as a prosecutor. The president just nominated a Supreme Court justice who is the son of a prosecutor. He grew up with a mom who was practicing closing arguments at the dinner table. He understands and appreciates the value of the work that we do and he is committed to interpreting the law as written. His record shows that he serves under the law, not above it. I think he is a fabulous choice and all of us in the law enforcement community can feel good about his nomination. It is an honor to be here with my fellow prosecutors and law enforcement officers to make an announcement about one of the most important issues we face, our fight against the opioid epidemic. But first I want to thank all of the federal officers who are here with us today, who do so much to fight opioid trafficking in New Hampshire, across state lines, and even international lines. That includes Brian Boyle of DEA, Head Director Jay Fallon. Amanda Cahill with ATF, and our partners Mike Bozenga with HSI and Robert Garcia with Border Patrol. And, of course, I want to thank our new DA Administrator Atam Dillon for joining me here today. Atam has had a long career battling drug traffickers and violent crime and I am confident he will be a strong leader for our fabulous men and women at the DEA for this critical fight. And while we are inexpressibly proud of our fabulous federal officers, we also understand and appreciate the fact that 85% of the law enforcement officers in this country serve at the state and local levels. You are the ones in the trenches every day gathering the street-level intelligence that can lead to national and even international cases. And so I want to give a special thanks to Concord Police Chief Bradley Osgood, Manchester's new Police Chief Carlo Gabbano, as well as the eight other police chiefs who are here. Colonel Chris Wagner of the New Hampshire State Police, Sheriff Mike Hira, as well as five county prosecutors. It is an honor to be with you all. I know that, with the help of these fabulous law enforcement partners, this U.S. Attorney's Office is doing a lot of great work. Prosecutors like Georgia Konsky, Seth Ephraim, and Deborah Walsh have brought charges against some 50 people involved in distributing fentanyl including four illegal aliens residing in the sanctuary city of Lawrence, Massachusetts. Donald Fyth secured a 20-year sentence for a drug dealer who had enough heroin to kill tens of thousands of people. And of course, you are achieving successes on so many other issues as well. But our shared work of enforcing our drug laws has never been more important than it is right now. Today we are facing the deadliest drug crisis in American history. We've never seen anything like it. Approximately 64,000 Americans lost their lives to drug overdoses in 2016, the highest drug death toll and the fastest increase in that death toll in American history. That's the equivalent of more than half of the population of Manchester, dead in one year just from overdoses. Meanwhile millions of people are living with the consequences of a family member's addiction or an addiction of their own. It is incredible but true that for Americans under the age of 50, drug overdoses are now the leading cause of death. Preliminary data show that the drug death toll continued to rise in 2017, but at a much slower pace. And according to CDC data through November 2017, it appears that we are starting to making progress. But sadly, New Hampshire knows the tragic consequences of drugs and addiction all too well. From 2013 to 2016, opiate related deaths in New Hampshire tripled. And in 2016, the Granite State had the second highest rate of opiate overdose deaths in America. I visited Manchester last March for the New Hampshire Youth Summit on Opiate Awareness. Fifty mothers stood before thousands of high school students holding large pictures of their child who had been lost to drug overdoses. It was extremely moving and it's something I will never forget. It reminds us that we are not just talking about numbers, these are moms, dads, daughters, sons, spouses, friends, and neighbors. We are talking about people like Eve Tarmy, a 17-year-old high school senior from Rochester, New Hampshire. She was injected with fentanyl by her mom's boyfriend, who later woke up to find her dead. Thanks to the people of this office, 
he is now serving 20 years in federal prison. We are talking about the one-year-old child from Brentwood, New Hampshire, who got into his father's fentanyl stash and ate some